So here's a 101 on long division. This is just going to be the traditional algorithm that we teach her at school. Um, there are some steps that we go through with the students as they're doing their division. Um, and usually what I do personally is I have the students write this acronym on their paper so that they don't forget or lose their place in the middle. And basically you're just going to do these steps over and over until you've divided out everything that you can. Divide, multiply, subtract, check, and bring down. And the mnemonic device that I use to remember what this is is does McDonald's serve cheeseburgers? Okay, so divide, multiply, subtract, and check, and bring down. For example, my first step is divide. So I'm going to look at my number here. I've got 79 divided by 3. Well, I have to ask myself, how many times will 3 go into 7? Or another way of asking myself that is how many groups of 3 are in 7? Well, I know that 3 times 2 is going to be 6. Okay, and that will definitely fit in 7 and it doesn't go over. Um, whereas, like, 3 times 3 would be 9. Well, we're playing the prices right. 9 is more than 7. We can't do that. Okay, so I'm going to use 2. 3 goes into 7 two times, so that goes right up here above my 7. Okay, so I did my divide. Now I'm ready to multiply. I multiply my number up here by this number. So 2 times 3 equals 6. And that goes right there under my 7. Now I'm ready to subtract. 7 minus 6 equals 1. Now this is a really important step. You want to check to make sure that the number that you got when you subtracted is smaller than this number that you're dividing by. If it's not, if it's bigger than this number, for instance, if this were a 4, one of two things has happened. Either you've done the wrong subtraction here, or you can divide, you can take 3 into 7 more times. Okay? So I check 1 is smaller than 3, so I'm good to go. I'm ready to bring down. And that means I'm going to take this number that I didn't divide, because I didn't do anything with that 9 yet, and I bring it down and put it right here next to my 1. Okay? And now I'm ready to start my whole process over again. So I'm ready to divide again. I have to ask myself, how many times does 3 go into 19? Or how many groups of 3 can I put in 19? Okay, so I think to myself, hmm, 3 times 4, that's not going to be enough. 3 times 5 would be 15. That will almost get me there. 3 times 6, ooh, that would be 18. I think that will get me there. Okay, so 3 times 6. 6 times 3, like I said, is 18. Okay, so I've done my divide. 6 times 3 is my multiply. Now I'm ready to subtract. 19 minus 18 is 1. And then I check. 1 is smaller than 3. Then I have to bring down. But I don't have anything left to bring down. So that means that 1 is going to be my remainder. Okay, and the way that I write that is just R1. So the answer to this problem, 79 divided by 3, is going to be 26 remainder 1. Let's do another problem together. All right, let's do 302 divided by 4. In this one, 4 is bigger than 3. So I can't take 4 into 3 because it won't go in there any times at all. Okay? So I have to move over to 30. I have to say how many times will 4 go into 30? And again, I've got to think to myself, okay? Using my times table, I know that 4 times 8 is 32, but its price is right. Can't go over. So let's go down one. 4 times 7. Okay. Hmm. 4 times 7 is 28. So I did my divide. 4 goes into 37 times. 7 times 4 by multiply is 28. Now I'm ready to subtract. 30 minus 28. Well, I'm going to cross this off. 10 minus 8 is 2. This became a 2. So 2 minus 2 is 0. I could put that down if I need to, but I don't really have to. Okay. Then I'm going to check. Is 2 smaller than 4? Yes, it is. So I'm good to go. Ready to bring down. My other 2 comes right down, goes right next to that. Now I'm asking myself again, starting my process all over dividing. How many times will 4 go into 22? Well, again, using my times table, 4 times 6 24, that's going to be too many, so let's go down one. 4 times 5, okay? 5 times 4 is 20. 22 minus 20 is 2, okay? Checking my problem. 2 is smaller than 4, so I'm good there. Now I would bring down, but I don't have anything else to bring down. I'm done dividing, so 2, again, is my remainder. I record that up here with an R2. 75 remainder 2. Okay, so there's just kind of a quick guide to 
Doug McDonald served cheeseburger, just solving some long division problems in the traditional algorithm.